one NBA player spent $5 million to have the craziest night of his life. Another player spent $20 million to save his own life. These are stupidly expensive things NBA stars own. And first up, Jimmy Butler. This man's been making millions. So to celebrate, he wanted to spend big. Oh! oh this is beautiful, yeah. man. This is much better than I could have ever imagined. Yeah. Jimmy made sure his boys put together the aquarium of his dreams. A 10 foot tall boom box filled with 600 gallons of water and over 50 fish. The things even got built in speakers. My fish gonna be bumping here? Jimmy's wet dream cost him over 40K. And yet, that's literally the cheapest thing in this video. So let's level up to Stephen Curry. Cause what he bought ain't even from our universe. Recently, Steph's found a futuristic way to blow a bag. With all the hype around NFTs exploding, Steph wanted to get in on the action. So he copped one of the most expensive NFTs in the entire metaverse. Yeah, not only did he make it his profile pic, he opted in the NFTs group chat to let the world know he joined the club. And I know this thing seems like nothing but a random picture of a monkey, but it's actually an exclusive board ape worth $180,000. Just look at Steph's face, man. This purchase definitely made him happy. I just wish I could say the same for Paul George's purchase. He spent a quarter mil because of the biggest tragedy of his life. A few years ago, Paul joined Team USA to take his game to a new level. But during a scrimmage, when Paul ran down court for a chase down block, Paul's leg was completely shattered. So he was instantly thrown onto a stretcher rushed to the hospital and put into an emergency surgery. But a few hours later, when Paul woke up, even though doctors told him they expected a full recovery, Paul was devastated that at the prime of his career, he was forced out of basketball for an entire year until he got a special visit from Floyd Mayweather. Floyd stopped by to cheer Paul up and gave him some financial advice. Then, ironically right after, Paul made an Instagram post showing that he spent $265,000. Yeah, I don't know if Paul took Floyd's secret advice or just wanted to cheer himself up, but he copped a custom Ferrari Spider that he couldn't even drive. Just look how happy he is being a passenger. Paul even had the interior completely redesigned just to fit his tall ass. So yeah, it's definitely Paul's favorite purchase. And I'd hope so if he spent over 200K. But not every NBA player's selfish. John Wall spent triple that just to spoil his teammates. Yeah, once Wall signed a record-breaking $207 million contract, that was more money than he ever needed. So he hit up his boy, Santa Claus, for some Christmas advice. And after some discussion, they figured out the perfect gifts for Wall's teammates. Wall surprised every single one of his boys with custom gold rollies completely flooded in diamonds. And just look at them opening these up. The boys were celebrating like they won a championship or something. I was just kidding, it was really Rolex. <laughs> wow. But hey, it's the Wizards, so let's be honest. Those watches are the only trophies they're ever getting. Anyways, jewelers estimated that every single watch was worth at least $40,000 and some were worth over $70,000. So when you add all of that up, those Christmas gifts cost well around $750K. But PJ Tucker spent double because of his addiction. Every single day, PJ can't help himself. He just keeps buying shoes. We're talking about a man who can't even walk in the store without spending 16 bands. So $16,944.57. And PJ's shoe buying addiction is only getting more expensive. I mean, in his crib, not only does he have closets full of them, he's got a secret shoe vault. And that's not even the crazy part. He admitted that just during the 2017 season, he spent over $200,000 just on shoes. And that's when he bought one of his most expensive shoes ever, the Nike Air Mags. But luckily, PJ got these at a discount. 
they only cost him 36k. Cause nowadays, you can't even see the shoe unless you're trying to spend around 50 racks. But these aren't even the most expensive shoes that PJ owns. Those came during the 2021 NBA Finals. And right when PJ showed them to his teammate Giannis, dude was speechless. These weren't just any shoes. They were diamond covered Jordan 1s that cost $250,000. And well, they must have been PJ's good luck charm. Cause that night, him and the Bucks won the championship. But during the post game interview, Giannis was more excited to talk about PJ's shoes again than winning a ring. PJ! Hey, bring your shoe. Hey, this guy today, he wore a 250,000 pair of shoe. He had real diamonds. I, I promise you. Now as crazy as those Jordans were, they're just one of PJ's 5,000 pairs. Yeah, 5,000. And uh, it's obviously impossible to keep that many shoes in one house. So what did PJ do? Well, something only PJ could do. He went out and bought his shoes, their own condo. Hey, what's up? It's PJ Tucker and welcome to my sneaker loft. The loft is primarily for storage. There wasn't enough space in my house to be able to put all my shoes, so I thought, you know, I gotta get a house. Just think about that. What this dude puts on his feet has a better house than you. <laughs> now, with PJ having over 5,000 shoes, his collection racks up over $1.5 million. But Ben Simmons spent double to become the king of Philly. Back when Ben Simmons actually played basketball, he thought he'd be a sixer for life. So he planned to cash out on a new crib in Philly. But still being a young kid, he wasn't ready for the responsibility of a house. And that's when he fell in love with one of the city's most prestigious condos. Ben copped himself a crib on the 25th floor of a Ritz Carlton. Three bedrooms, four bathrooms, Floor to ceiling windows. I, I mean, you get insane views of the entire city. Ben spent so much money, his crib even came with 24 7 room service, his own chauffeur, and a fitness center with a pool. Now, listen, at least Ben can spend years at his $3 million purchase. But what he bought ain't as legendary as Dwayne Wade's purchase, because he spent double that for one night. Coming into Wade's 32nd birthday, he not only planned a celebration, he wanted to make the craziest purchase of his entire life. Wade's had the jewelry, he's bought the cars. So this time, he wanted to go all out. And that's when he spent over $5 million to not only buy a yacht, but get it completely customized for his birthday. Yeah, and not only did Wade get the name of the boat changed to the Way of Wade, man's really copped an outfit to match. Now listen, Wade's 130 foot yacht was completely decked out for his birthday bash. I'm talking about a full room dedicated to Wade's shoes, his own shoe cake, a private fireworks show. Wade even made sure someone got hired just to spend all night rolling up. And of course, it ain't a party if the boys ain't there. So not only did Wade's teammates pull up in front of everybody, LeBron let Wade know what's good. I love you. You already know you can always get anything from me. Now a toast from LeBron? $5 million for a yacht? Things can't get much crazier than that, right? Well, first, let's talk about a player who spent $19 million just because of his biggest fear. September 11th, 2001. The day that everybody's lives changed forever, but especially Tracy McGrady's. When he heard news of planes being hijacked and the tragedies that came with it, he knew how often he had to travel from city to city. So no matter what Tracy was doing, he couldn't take his mind off airborne attacks. Now, since Tracy couldn't even play basketball without the thoughts, he was afraid to hop on any plane, but being an NBA player who needed to travel from state to state, Tracy had to figure out a solution, even if it was expensive. And that's when he made the most expensive purchase of his entire life, a private jet. I had a, I had a Falcon 2000, so it was a corporate jet. It was one of the best traveling jets that you could have. How much was? It was like, it was 19 million. So. Ooh. 
<laughs> now, $19 million might seem crazy, but this ain't just any plane. Just look, it's not only comfortable, it allowed Tracy to conquer his fears of flying. But listen, it's just ironic how a player who's scared of being in the air joined the Rockets. But anyways, when you're bringing up spending tens of millions of dollars, one player knows it better than anybody. And not only is he a king of the court, he's the king of craziest purchases, LeBron James. Now, yeah, he lives like all the other NBA stars in this video. But whenever he lands in his private jet or hops in one of his million dollar supercars, he pulls up to something that costs 52 million. Yeah, LeBron's got one of the craziest cribs in the entire world. Wait a minute. Dude really bought a house that looks exactly like Raid from Black Ops 2. His mansion has an outdoor pool with a fire pit in the middle. And no matter what he's doing outside, there's a ridiculous view of the Los Angeles skyline. But on the inside is where things get insane. Six bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, walk-in closets, a game room. And we all know LeBron, man. Of course he's got a wine cellar, a full gym, and a spa. He's even got an indoor garage for his $100,000 whips. But it ain't just a place to store his cars. It's even got a man cave with a built-in golf simulator. Now I'm not gonna lie, man. LeBron's crib might be more legendary than his play on the court. And that's why it cost him over $52 million. So LeBron is at the top of the game, but he's got nothing on what other NBA legends are buying. Cause one NBA legend spent a half a million dollars to survive a zombie apocalypse. Another legend's purchase almost got him killed. And I know you want to hear more about that. So just click this video right here.